The first thing that I want to ask you is you and Dion work on varied projects right now. The last couple of ones have been romantic thrillers. What do you look for in a project? I mean, um, we really like projects that leave you walking around in the theater that that you've had an experience, you know, that something's real, um, something human, um, a lot of messaging in the background about real life stories, you know, um, there's so much going on in the world. And although we try to make it a fun experience, you really want to kind of address the elephant in the room a lot, you know what I mean? But through a, a, a non-traditional way um, and, and really just realism and humanity, you know? Um, I'd love to see successful black and brown people in front of the camera doing great things opposed to, you know, a slave movie every time or whatever that is. Like, I really want to celebrate success, you know? Um, but I really like, you know, like with traffic, I thought it was important. I, I really am involved in, you know, the whole trafficking world and with climb. And I think it's important to show these relevant topics to the world to just give light and education on what's going on around us. So with this film in particular, we've seen Michael in a couple of thrillers with you. What is it about Michael Ely that you <laughs> as your leading man in your films? I mean, listen, he's a great actor. You know what I mean? He can give you anything that you need from any genre that you need it for. And I think, you know, he's been in the game for a really long time. He works really hard and you know, being a household name in the African-American community, I thought who better to play opposite Hillary Swank? You know what I mean? You never get these kinds of roles for black men or white uh, black women in Hollywood. And so for him to go toe to toe with Hillary Swank is like a no brainer, you know what I mean? And they're, they're, they were so electric on screen. So I'm, I'm happy to be able to open that door, you know, for him to have that room to, to showcase his talent. How did you get Hillary involved in the, in the project, not only as an actress, but to come on board as a producer? What was that process like? Um, you know, in the beginning, it was a little challenging as, you know, she's never done a film like this and it's an independent movie. Um, so it's a little untraditional from what she was used to in the past. Um, but, you know, I think the script was great. You know, Dion had an amazing vision and he knew what he wanted and he was able to articulate that to her. Um, we had to go directly to her to get that answer. You know what I mean? We had to go around the world to get to her, to be able to get her attention for her to even listen. Um, so that was challenging, but once we got that done and she was on board, it was smooth sailing from then. I mean, she's super humble easy to work with. She's a genius at what she does. You know, she works extremely hard. Um, and as a producer of this movie, she, you know, taught us so much on how to craft those early development creative ideas with the script and how to, you know, um, make those adjustments on the page. Sometimes when you're in, on scene, um, in character, like if it doesn't make sense, then you stop, readjust, why doesn't this make sense? We shot it this way. We had this conversation and now we're talking about. So it's just really watching the process, I would think, with her and how to shape and mold how to have a great movie. And lastly, in wrapping up, I noticed that you participate in a lot of women in film panels, giving back and giving that guidance. Is it important to you at this stage in your career to make sure that you're ushering in the next generation of talent behind the scenes? Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I, I had a hard time. I still, you know, have challenges being a woman and being a black woman in Hollywood. You know, again, you're not, you don't get the opportunities that everyone else does. You work, you know, a hundred times harder and, you know, a hundred more hours longer. And, you know, you still don't often get the credit for your work. And so I think with the new world changing and the changing of the guards, it's important for us as people to give other people in those same positions the same opportunity. Nobody held my hand. No one wanted to give me any information. 
Nobody wanted to introduce me to nobody without a fee. It, it's just like everybody's just trying to one up each other instead of working together. So I'm just trying to create a different lane for the next generation and, and however I can bring them with me, whether it's in front of the camera or behind the camera, I'll do whatever I can to make that happen. 